come on. Everything is a okay when you're riding with Jay. All right, I think we're getting ready to stop at my third favorite truck stop. Can I fit through here? I think I should be able to. I think there should be parking on that other side. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a 30 minute break and then we're gonna go to our rest area and shut down for the night. Oh, it's been a long day. It's been a while. What was that sound? there's any pull throughs so I'm gonna back into one of these spots here nice and easy you go for this one there was a pull through but ain't no way I could get to it so Strained her out too much. That's okay. All right, going to straighten it out. We might have to slide it over. Oh yeah, we're gonna just go on and ahead and do that right now before we even mess with it too much. Oh my gosh, are these just spots like super wide or what? I hate people that park out here, dude. Like, it's like, you see how many spots there are right now and this guy's gonna park over here like that? Oh my gosh, bro. There we go. Cut it back under. I don't know how far back we can go. Go back a little bit more. Look like there. Well, we almost smoked a deer tonight. I barely missed him, dude. I, I could barely see him. He was so dark. He came out of the ditch right in front of my truck, and I like slammed on the brakes. And I, I think I missed him by maybe like an inch or two on this left side here because he ran across. But when he got on the road, he like jumped as high as he could, and I'm like you idiot like just go like but he like jumped all the way up and i was like yeah this is bad and this is a brand new truck so i was like of course couldn't have done it in the old truck it's got to be the new one so i was like it's over with we just hit a deer and <laughs> somehow i hit the brakes hard enough i think if i would have been um fully loaded there's no way i'm missing him i think i'm hitting hitting him so hard do we got a spot here are you kidding me amazon You better figure it out, buddy, because I need that spot. How do you mess it up that bad? I'm actually scared to park next to this guy. Oh my. Bro, just leave.
you got all this room back here. Back all the way up. Even this guy isn't even the lines very good. I think I'm just gonna stay back like this because I didn't even, I should have just went further down. I'm actually scared right here, but I can't go down now. Good morning guys, we're about nine miles away from our delivery this morning. Uh, we're running kind of late. I don't know if you guys have been through Minnesota recently, but 94 is uh, filled with traffic or construction and uh, westbound 94 this morning. Oh my God, dude. The way station was even open. They were pulling people in and uh, I woke up at like 6.15 this morning and it was only like 60 miles to my delivery. So that should have taken an hour and my my uh, time was for 7.30, so I figured I'd have been fine. Nope. So we're gonna be there at 8.14 this morning. So we literally added an hour. That's how far we're running behind from when I woke up and expected to be here. Um, but yeah, I think I'm finally becoming a trucker because I had, I'm gonna answer this. Hey, just hey, dude. one second, one second. I'm recording right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll, I have like one, one more thing, but I think I'm finally becoming yeah. a trucker uh, because I had a dream last night that I was truck driving and uh, I pulled into a dock and I couldn't figure out how to back it in. But we'll see you guys here at the receiver. All right, guys, so we got offloaded. Our next load's pretty solid. It's, uh, it's a thousand miles. It's a good load. So uh, we're gonna go get that picked up now. I don't know how far we'll drive today. Okay, Garmin. Okay, Garmin. Okay, Garmin. All right, I guess you don't wanna listen. Whatever. But we're leaving here and we're gonna go get loaded. And then um, I could make it there tomorrow, but Cornell said it's not delivering till Friday morning, so I don't know. Oh, this is, this is stupid. This is stupid. out of there just fine so <laughs> now we're uh, headed over to our pickup thousand mile load pretty good still kind of sucks though because I was hoping I could deliver it tomorrow because if I could drive you know 500 miles today pretty easily you know and then go get uh, unloaded Thursday if they had 24 hour facility but they don't so we're just gonna get back here and go get unloaded and all that fun stuff, so. So it only took an hour to get loaded, um, but I was like getting kind of low on hours. Not low, but I wanted to have enough hours to make it to HQ, so. We got eight hours and 48 minutes of drive time and we got 446 miles to go to HQ and we got about an extra hour of on-duty time. We're gonna have to get fuel, I believe, and we will have to get some food. I'm getting hungry, it's already 12.30, and I got another hour and 20 minute drive before I can get food. There's not very many truck stops around the Minneapolis metro area, kind of on the outskirts. So we're gonna get down to a quick trip. I wanted to have Taco Bell at the Petro, but um, I just don't think that's very plausible. Maybe I'll stop at Iowa 80 and get Taco Bell, but at the same time, if I'm, gonna wait that long to eat Taco Bell I might as well wait till I get to HQ and 
go have something better that I can't find out on the road. I think sleeper dome light. I'm gonna make a ride out of here. Kind of a cool place. I think I'm a little heavy. I think we might be okay though. We also have to use a cat scale before uh, we get going too far. So, but hopefully the quick trip that I'm gonna stop at has a cat scale. I might do my 30 there because at that point I'll be below eight hours and then I'll just be able to drive straight on into uh, Chicago and that'll knock about almost half of it out. So not quite, but close enough. I know it's gonna want me to take 94, but there's so much damn construction on 94 that it just doesn't make any sense to go that way. All right, guys, we drove quite a few miles today. Um, why did this car pull up here, bro? Don't let him around, yeah. Screw that guy in the Audi, that's a dick move. And that car ran that red line. <laughs> We're just down the road from GP though. We're 13 miles down the road and uh, yeah, I just, like clearly that line, that that lane was marked for turn only and that Audi thought that he could go straight out of that lane and then he realized he couldn't and then you could see him like he was gonna try to just gas it and get ahead of everyone, which is such a dick move. Like, then that ended up that car running that light. That would've been really bad if some truck would've just came, you know, so. Well, we're literally 13 miles down the road from GPHQ. I'm gonna go there, do my post trip. I don't know if I'm gonna get a shower or not. Most likely, probably not, but I might. I just, I don't know where I'm gonna end up tomorrow. See, I, I don't, I think we're probably like 670 miles away from our delivery in Virginia for Friday morning, which I can drive that all day tomorrow, as long as I can get through Chicago pretty fast. Chicago burns up an hour though then you know that just cuts into my time but I don't know how close the truck stop I can get to that's gonna have parking and you know even if I wake up at 7 a.m. tomorrow and drive straight which that's probably it's already 9 13 we got 13 miles so say we get at HQ at 9 30 then we have to do a post trip so that takes like five ten minutes so call it 9 40 and then 7.40 we can wake up, drive 11 hours. That means at the earliest tomorrow, if we wake up at 7.40, they're all, like if we drive everything we can tomorrow, earliest we can shut down is like 9.10. And the reason I say that is because it's gonna be Eastern time and we have to do a 30 minute break, so. Ugh, and it's gonna be hard to find parking in Virginia at nine o'clock at night, unless it's near that huge Petro, which I don't think it is, so. Anyways guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Alrighty, good morning guys. We're headed back to HQ. We got down the road and I had like this light. Can I make a U-turn here? I'm pretty sure I can. But I don't know if I want to or not. Nah. I could have made a U-turn there, but I don't want to do it. I'm just going to go up and turn around. Our, that trailer light on the nose was on and then it finally came off. So I was, I called, cause like normally after you drive like a couple blocks, it shuts off, but this morning it didn't want to. So I was like, what the hell? And um, finally came off. So we are right back to HQ and I could just turn right at that light, but I decided that I need to go down to the other intersection because I, I could see eastbound traffic from up here and it was like, standstill and then when i pulled over to check my trailer again because like i didn't hear any hissing this morning and the light was still on so maybe i thought i kind of thought like maybe i had a nail in the tire and so i i checked the map and to the next exit it's all red so all right guys we stopped and got a shower here um we got i don't even know like 400 something miles to go we can't take 76 to pa and then uh, Cornell told me that he's got my next load in the works already. It's supposed to be going to from Virginia to uh, Memphis, Tennessee, which kind of sucks because I can't 
I'll have to stop in between Nashville and Memphis to do a 34 because I'm not stopping in Memphis for a 34. I just, I've heard nothing but bad things there. So I'll stop somewhere between Memphis and Nashville, I think, and do a 34. Um, but we did a two hour split there because we needed to edit the video. Um, doesn't matter which video because you guys, well, I guess it's the truck reveal video. You guys will remember that one. This truck reveal video. So when we just edited it on our two hour split because we took an hour to take a shower and get lunch. Which Arby's has a the big game burger, which is supposed to be like 33% venison, 33% uh, elk, and 33% beef. But if you do the math, 33 times 3 is 99. So what is the other 1% of the burger made out of? <laughs> but um, I didn't try it, but the sauce on it's like a red steak sauce. And I got the brisket sandwich, and the guy, instead of putting barbecue sauce on it, he put that steak sauce on it, and it was gross. I did not like it. I was expecting, like, barbecue, and it was, like, kind of sour and just meh. You know, I was kind of disappointed. But I think I remember coming through here and that there's an extra lane here because the toll's right here. So we're going to be okay. We don't really need to get up to too high of a speed here. And that stupid light's on again, but after a while it's gonna shut off, so. So I know I've said it before. <coughs> um, GP does not want us to take I-76 through Pennsylvania. The Pennsylvania Turnpike is apparently, I don't know for sure, but apparently it is one of the most expensive toll roads in the United States of America. It's, there's two tolls that they don't allow us to take. Number one is the Turnpike in Pennsylvania, and the second one is the Chicago Skyway, which I don't know how good the Skyway is. I think I took it like once at CFI. I think you bypass quite a bit of Chicago traffic, but I don't think it's like great, you know? So, oh, we probably should slow down just a little bit here. I think I see a construction worker in the road there. Oh, buddy, get out of the road. <laughs> it's so hard to see them with that light there. Um, but anyways, so we took 80 through Ohio and I like, when I stopped earlier to do my two hour, I looked at my maps to see like where I would be, um, getting off 80 and to cut 79 South. And so I figured that I was going to be okay and nothing changed with the navigation. It stayed on going to 79. Well, it turns out I was on the PA Turnpike for 10 miles, and then I had to take, which I don't know if this is banned or not, but it's still a toll, toll road, and I think the only way you can get to it is if you're on 76, so I'm guessing it's probably banned too. But then it took me to 376, which is another toll road, and so I don't even know how much money I just racked up, but I didn't have any choices to get off, and so I will call Cornell in the morning and let him know. I don't think it's like one of those things where you get fired if you take it, um, but they just don't want you to. Like, I, I'm sure like you can get in trouble if you do it too often. That's the first time I've ever charged PA 76. So I guess we'll find out. Hopefully I don't get fired, but I don't think 10 miles would be too bad. I think their bigger concern, concern is staying on 76 for like the whole trip, which it sucks because if I would have took 76, it would have been 60 miles less, which I get paid for those 60 miles, but 76 is just way more convenient. Like, it's just a straight shot. Whereas, like, now I got to go down 79. I don't know how many miles. I got to I gotta take an exit here and two and a half miles to get on 79. This is, this is 70, 79, so it's a junction between the two. I can go left to stay on 70 or take right to hit. Se oh, my God, that was loud. I was listening to the Vikings game and my stepmom's a huge Vikings fan and they have like a family group chat for um, like her brother, her whole, fa her whole side of the family is just Vikings fans and so I've been having like notifications all night. I don't even know what they're talking about. I'm guessing the Vikings game since the game's on, but I don't, I think it just went to half and the score was 13-7 Eagles. And I'll have to look up the play after, but apparently Justin Jefferson like dove for the pylon and he fumbled.
and it went through the end zone, which is a touchback. And so the Vikings lost possession. So I'm sure they're complaining about that, which that's the rules. I think it's kind of a stupid rule, but I understand like the ruling. I don't know how many of you watch the NFL, but I know like pretty much all the rules. Like I can, I'm like one of those that can like tell the penalty. Like if I'm at home watching the game or if I'm not driving watching a game, if there's a flag, 90% of the time I know what the call is. Like intentional grounding, roughing the passer, you know, holding, face masks, stuff like that, you know. Where I feel like most people know, but some people don't. So anyways, I don't want to bore you guys with this NFL talk. I am hopefully going to start my day early Monday and be done early Monday, which I don't know. If, if I get this load delivering to Memphis, I'm guessing that it's probably going to be a late day. Because I, I guess probably deliver like 8 or 9 a.m. in Memphis and then trying to get a load out of Memphis. And I just want to be done so I can watch the game. Monday Night Football, Steelers, Browns. Steelers need to win here. Division game, they need to show up. I know 49ers, we got our butt kicked, but I knew the Niners were like top five offense and defenses. So I, I was hoping we'd kick their ass, but we got our asses handed like bad. So yeah, I gotta like mute my ringer or something. I don't leave the group chat or something. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I know I haven't recorded much today. But yeah, it's just one of those things. I, I don't know. I know like right now I've had this truck for two weeks and the video video that I just released is the video for tomorrow that I'm getting. Oh my gosh, I need to lay off the brakes. I'm getting my truck. And so I'm two weeks behind schedule right now, I guess. So I need to like just start posting videos because I thought I was like only like maybe a week behind but now it's two weeks behind so it's more than two weeks because today's Thursday and I got that new truck on Tuesday so two weeks and two days so I used to upload every day every day you would literally see the video from the day before the next day at CFI but I feel like I'm just too busy here at GP like CFI you know oh my god CFI you didn't have miles here you have miles Maybe that two hour split was a terrible idea. Uh, as you can see, we're heavy. 42 miles an hour is how fast we're going right now. And uh, we were supposed to be able to make it about like another 40 miles, but that is not gonna happen. And there's a truck stop there that no one ever parks at. So I knew I was probably gonna be good there, but I can't even make it there. And now I'm trying to find parking. Come on, everything is a okay when you're riding with Jay. Keep those wheels turning and we do this every day Backing up a trailer, look at all the roads I've driven Come and ride with me, yeah, let me show you how I'm living Come on